All right, people, welcome to Fake Card Friday. So if you're new here and you don't know what Fake Card Friday is, every Friday I go ahead and look at a fake card and review it as if it was a real card that Konami made. Uh, sometimes my fake cards are sent to, to me by uh, viewers, which they sometimes like to lean more towards doing you belt as cards because, of course, I'm Evil Mastery, but they don't have to be that. And then sometimes I just go on UgiocardMaker.net myself and look up some interesting cards that I would like to go ahead and discuss if they were real cards. So, you can clearly see this series is similar to card review, but not. I mean, look, the background is different, all right? It's a different color background. Um, this is only once per week by card review. It's twice per week, but you're going to get it every single Friday, Big Card Friday. So, uh, today, we are looking at what I think is a pretty interesting card. Uh, it takes a lot to bring out. It kind of stuns, but I mean, if you bring it out, it could win you, possibly win you game if it was a real card. So this is King Quad Rizar. He is a light rank four machine XC effect monster with a whopping 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. Like those are, it was a Quasar stats, but I guess that's why he's called Qua Quad Razar because it's a Quasar. I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, Quasar stats, which is pretty powerful. But to make him, I mean, that, this is the hard one. You need four, rank four, XC monsters with the same type. Like, like if it was just four monsters, that's pretty difficult unless I pin it to them. Four rank four monsters, that's pretty difficult. I mean, that's a super neck, so hopefully it's worth it. Four rank four monsters with the same type, like, come on, you know? Like, sometimes my extra deck's not even made with that Tobot. But there's one deck in particular where I'm thinking, like, hmm, I could, I could see this, and that's, of course, Zodiacs, you know? I only need one monster to exceed that's a rank four, and they're, of course, all the same type of Beast Warrior, so if this card is real, you could make it to Zodiacs. Now, four rank four monsters, that's a lot, so I said... Even if they could make it, is it worth it? Let's go ahead and read its effect. So, XC materials attached to any monster you use for this card. This lead summon also become XC materials on this card. So, you just slap out all of the XC materials. So, it's a lot of XC materials, it really is, uh, with four rank four XC monsters with the same type. Uh, but it cannot be used as a tribute or as a fusion, synchro, or XC materials for a summon. So, I mean, Tribute, like, okay, so what? You can't kaiju it? You can't tribute it, okay. Uh, fuse with it, well, Super Poly is bam, so, but that would be the only thing I can think of, you know. You'd be like, oh, Super Poly, this and another rank, uh, rank XE monster or Synchro monster, ah, Norton, you know. Uh, synchro, it's a rank, right? How, how are you gonna Synchro someone with a rank? XE, like, okay, I can't just slap another XE monster on this, but I really can't think of anything you just slap on just any rank four so I don't, I don't know i don't know but you can't do it all right even if you, some of them it would be your own fault you, you can't do it all right you cannot do it the only thing that i find interesting is you can't tribute it it can't be used as a tribute so all right uh so you can't kaiju it nice nice now does it have any like protection or anything like that let's find out uh while this card has a rank four xc monster as xc material which it should you used four of them to make this guy so he should have it cards and effects on the field cannot be activated and are negated wow just Blatantly, all all cards in effect. So it sort of has a protection effect. It's like, oh, well, Dark Halt. That's a card on the field. It's negated. It's activated and negated. It can't about be activated and it's negated. Regeki, no. Summon a Kirin, no. You know, just cards and effects on the field cannot be activated and are negated. But but there's a stipulation. Except the effects of rank four XC monsters. So as long as I can bust out a rank four monster, that without, you know, activating cards or effects that would be negated, I'll be fine. And I can out this, you know? It's like, oh, you summon this in Zodiac. Oh, uh, all cards and effects can't be activated except for rank fours. Okay, summon a Zodiac, Drancia, Pot. Special summon, Photon Strike, Bouncer, Normal Summon, XE, Cast Out, Spin It. You know, like, the fact that it pretty much stops everything on the field Except for rank fours, it's just like, ugh, because you can outface with a rank four, so hopefully you got something to back it up as well, maybe like a Solemn or something. Uh, but the fact that <laughs> that it can stop everything, you know, it's like, oh, I can stop spells, I can stop traps, I can stop monster effects, as long as they're not rank four. I'm, and I'm a 4,000 attack monster, I'm like, whoo, pretty powerful, pretty powerful. It's just, yeah. Uh, it has a more effect, uh, once per turn during either player's end phase, you can either detach an extreme material from this card, and unless you make it lose 400 attack and defense. So you either charge material, which I guess 
does kind of tandem in the first effect because you need a rank 4 Xe monster to keep that kind of locking stun effect. But you're going to have so many materials. I mean, who cares? And even if you don't, oh, I lose a whopping 400 attack and defense. Oh, no, I'm only down to 3,600. Oh, 3,200. Even 2,800 is still over the attack barrier. You know, once you get to like 2,400, it's kind of, but still. Uh, I mean, still cards can, cannot be activated and on cannot be activated. So it's still pretty powerful, but you're 4,000 attack and defense. Like, drop a little bit. Who cares? You know, really, who cares? But just, it, this card is difficult to summon. Like, really, four, rank four XC monsters with the same type. Really difficult to summon. The stun is nice, but it's just rank four monsters can out. And it's nice that I can't be tributed for a kaiju. And it's nice that you know that, you know, I can't be Dark Hold or Gekki or whatever, so that's cool. But all, literally all you have to do is just make a rank four monster. And if I have no response to that, whether it be Castel 101 or like I said, just if I'm doing against Zodiacs, one monster and slap on and slap on Drancia, I'm gone, you know? So uh uh, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's strong, but I just think it's too much work. It really is, you know? If I want to kind of just lock you out of playing, then I'd rather just make, like, a Utopia deck and then go into that Utopia monster that I attach its material and you can't activate. Like, I'd rather I'd rather go that route than try to pull something off with this card. So that's just my opinion. It really is. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, episode of Fake Card Friday. So, uh, of course, I will be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at, whether that be a card of my own that I find... Because uh, I still have a, a nice chunk of cards in reserve. Uh, but you guys can also send me fake cards, whether you guys want to make them yourself or, you know, you want to send it to me. If you guys could just do me one favor, if you guys, when you send me the card, can you put that effect? Can you put the effect typed? So I could just copy and paste it in the description because I always put the effects and stuff in the description. And if you don't, you just send me a card of it. I got to type it out. And that's tedious. That's tedious. So it makes it my job a little bit easier for me. And just go ahead and put the effect. If you're going to send me a fake card, and uh, if I deem it interesting enough, I will go ahead and review it. Like I said, I get sent a lot of Ubell cards. So just because I'm a master, you don't think that you have to send me Ubell cards. That don't ha it doesn't have to be Ubell related. But if it is, and I find it interesting enough, of course, I will review it. And occasionally, I will review some Ubell cards. You know, uh, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notified when I upload. So, uh, yeah, uh, of course, you guys are getting more Ubell. <laughs> you mean not Ubell. Well, you actually, you are actually getting Ubell related content tomorrow because Saturday is Vimeo Y live stream. It's going to be at 10 a.m. Pacific time and go to 12 p.m. Pacific time. So two hour live stream. So if you guys can make it, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. You're going to be getting uh live streams fairly often you know i'm gonna try to make it every saturday and sunday i might be a little bit busy on some particular days i know not this saturday and sunday but next saturday and sunday i'm gonna be out of town so i'm not gonna be able to stream but whenever i'm available i'm definitely gonna try to stream for you guys uh you know it's a way to interact with you guys but you you know you get your content you get your content uh as you guys know you get your draft league it will be starting on march 4th and uh, with that, you guys will be getting also uploads as well, not just live streams on again, but Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 Draft League uploads as well. And then you'll be getting an upload every single day along with additional Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to be a little bit biased, but I definitely think that this is a channel worth subscribing to, so you have not ready, be sure to. And uh, looking forward to seeing what fake cards you guys send me, what you guys think about this card, and uh, seeing you guys next Friday with another Fake Card Friday. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and yeah, see you guys next time.